So this is my second video that exclusively showcases me doing Olympic lifting modalities. And my confidence is growing. I'm, I'm getting into deeper, more dynamic ranges, and I'm eliciting a little more uh, rate of force production with heavier weight. Uh, so as you see here, uh, we've got a 70 kilo uh, split jerk off the rack. Uh, moving the weight pretty well, getting into fairly full extension at, at this weight. So I'm, I'm happy with this, uh, with, with this rep range at this intensity. Uh, we have a lift here at 78 kilos. Not quite as good extension, so I'm I'm prematurely kind of tucking my my hips, and that was a better rep that set that second one for sure. But you can see here as the weight gets a little heavier, uh, my extension is good in my hips, but I'm prematurely putting the right foot down to the front foot down before. Uh, my elbows get into extension so what happens is my hips are underneath my hands before my elbows get fully extended so I gotta I gotta be more patient here as you see here with 100 kilos which is a personal best overhead um, that was a pretty egregious example of uh, so right here I, I get a little applause from from on watchers which is which is kind of them despite it not being a real terrific effort uh, as you see here in slow motion, great uh, extension of the hip, really premature landing with the front foot, uh, well before my elbows became in you know came into extension. So what ends up happening is you go into uh, what's called uh, you know a lack of extension essentially overhead, and then you you just press it out. So you just kind of muscle it up over your head. Uh, in a competition that would be uh, that obviously wouldn't count. So it has to be one fluid movement, um, and and that that certainly wasn't that. So when I come back to this this intensity, I think I know what to look for. I got to be a little more patient with uh, with my front foot, really drive through into that triple extension as they say, and uh, just be more more patient with putting my foot down. It's sort of like coming out of the blocks, to be honest with you. You don't want to put that that uh, back foot coming off the pedal on block clearance and put it down onto the track prematurely. You want to get into full extension. You want to displace your hips and displace off the blocks, clear off the blocks. So as you see here, we got um, a 70 kilo uh, jump squat. Uh, I do it a little unorthodox. Uh, I go into triple extension, but I keep my ankles into dorsiflexion so that when I land... I can, uh, you know, I can load the spring and, uh, and and drive through the hip. So, if if you were to compare uh, the way I do it, it, this is more sort of the Western style or American style. The the landing flat footed or more on your heel uh, is like the kind of the Eastern European style. So more of the amortization phase um, in the ball of the foot rather than the entire forefoot. So. Uh, to each his own. That's just, just kind of how I cut my teeth on the jump squats. Uh, my first set of uh, snatch is with 40 kilos. And I'm still kind of working into my hips a little bit, as you can see. Uh, that's a much better squat, but I'm really still working into the hole. My adductors, uh, my TFL uh, have always been a little bit tight. Uh, I can you know elicit pretty good range. It's not really the issue. It's just kind of getting into that range in the first few Reps takes takes me a little while to get going, to be honest with you. Um, so as you see here, I'm kind of climbing into the hole, which is a bit of an oxymoron, but I'm I'm working my my hips down into uh, into the depth. So you see here with 60 kilos, it's getting better. I'm a little more confident. I'm actually better off a hang. So the you obviously can't pull it quite as high. I don't have as much sort of uh, force off the ground, but this is probably my best lift uh, of the day with uh, with 60 kilos. Um, okay extension on that one, not great, but this, um, that that's the best triple extension I've had probably all, all uh, any of these lifts on, uh, on this training session. So you see here with 70, uh, 70 kilos, not a, not a real great effort. It's more of a power snatch. Um, as you see, kind of losing position. I'm not really getting extended. I'm pulling prematurely. So that was a much better effort, 
higher pull, longer pull uh, from the snatch. Uh, still kind of in a power position. On this set, I step back and um, just, again, stabilize overhead. On um, this rep, uh, set rather, uh, again, a little bit premature on the, on the pull. So I'm not getting fully extended before I begin my pull. It's odd. I'm I'm, I'm better out of the uh, out of the hang than I am off the floor. So I just got to be a little more confident, a little more patient. Uh, this is just a box of a box. This is a set of box pulls, high pulls with uh, 90 kilos, and uh, it's essentially just working on uh, pulling and driving with the hips and pulling in sort of a, like a shrug style, to be honest with you. So it's the same sort of elicited uh, action as you would if you were to do a, you know, a snatch. You're just, you're just pulling it halfway. This is a set of uh, clean and jerk off the, off the box. I didn't jerk that one. My, my hand position was a little off. But again, I'm kind of working my way into the hole. Um, again. You know all these all these different modalities, all these different styles. I'm still absolutely in in the trench of the learning curve. Um, that's a better effort, uh, certainly. Uh, the fluidity is a lot better. Uh, with this this weight, my jerks are, are pretty pretty confident and pretty fast. Um, as you see here, again, there's there's a bit of a delay between the pull, the catch, and, uh, you know, into the hole. So i got to clean that up for sure. Um, this is a, a set with 70 kilos. A jerk is okay. Still really need to work on full extension uh, through the elbows. Um, short biceps, uh, lots of heavy dumbbell benching. Bench press have probably limited the range of motion in my shoulder girdle and my, uh, uh, my pec complex particularly my, my pec minor. Um, that, that's probably a, the best effort off, off, uh, off the box of that day. Uh, the smoothness into the hole is probably the, the best all day. This is a bonk here, total, total uh, whiff. Uh, I clean it up a little bit, but my elbows are probably too bent. Um, that's a good catch, and uh, I didn't jerk it for whatever reason. So this is uh, what's called an overhead rack squat just with 40 kilos but basically you uh you get underneath the bars if you were in a you know a snatch overhead uh snatch style position and you just stand up uh with the weight overhead it looks relatively easy because it's light um, but if you see some of the chinese athletes um you know tian tao and uh some of the some of the other big names do this it's it's pretty amazing their their overhead strength is phenomenal so Thanks for watching.